In this video, we will be showing you how to assemble the Super Jumper Kids trampoline. In the box, you will find the frame pad, the jump mat, 42 springs, hardware, side handrails, left and right, handrail bases, left and right, center handrail, six T-joints, and six top rails. Place the top rails on the floor with the openings facing the floor. Between each top rail, you should have a T-section to connect them and the hardware provided. Slide a bolt from the bottom and connect both the top rail and the T-section on both sides. The cover of the T-section should be facing the outside of the trampoline. Tighten with a hex nut and a safety nut cap. Once all the T-sections have been properly installed, flip the trampoline over. The openings of the top rails should be facing up. Remove two leg caps from the left and right T-sections and slide the handrail base left and right into the recording section. Once they have been slided over, simply put the leg caps back in place. Place the jump mat in the middle of the top rails. To begin installing, Place the R-hook of the spring onto the loop of the jump mat and use the C-section of the spring to attach the top rail opening. In order to properly install the springs onto the trampoline, you must install the first eight springs in the order shown. Once installed, you can attach the rest of the springs onto the jump mat. Once all the springs have been installed, stretch the skirt of the jump mat on top of the springs in order to cover them and avoid pinching. Place the frame pad on top of the jump mat and stretch it until all springs are covered. Attach both side handrails by placing them into the handrail base. Secure with the push buttons located at the bottom of the handrail bases. Then, secure the center handrail by attaching it to the side handrails as shown. Secure with the push pin buttons located in the handrails. Thank you for watching this how-to video. For more information and help on this product, click on the link below.